everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if it's your first time. I'm trying things a little bit different today with a different background. This is the office where I work during the day at home, and another love of mine behind me, books. And to the left of me, I have two more bookshelves, and in the corner there's more, and in the basement there's more. Uh, books are another love of mine in life, just like home fragrance and wax and candles are. So I thought I would change up the uh, scenery a little bit for this video today. This is my empties video and I have this whole basket full of them. It's been a few weeks since I've made a video. You know, it's summer's getting away from us and I had a, I had a particularly stressful um, work week. And uh, last night my husband and I went to the symphony uh, and um, it was one of my bucket list things is to see the symphony in person. I have, I had not seen it before last night, and I'm so happy we went. We went up to Park City, and the Utah Symphony throws a um, summer outdoor concert series. And I, I wish I could show you guys pictures on here. It's just absolutely beautiful, the scenery. It was held at Deer Valley Ski Resort, which was where some of the 2002 Olympics when they were held here in Salt Lake. Um, they used the, some of the slopes there for some of the um, skiing events. So let's get started. I took all of my stuff out of this basket and I hope the lighting in here is okay. It is, um, what time is it? <laughs> it's between seven and eight. I don't really know uh, what time it is right now, but hopefully if the lighting's a little bit too low, I um, you know, I'm just, I'm testing this out here. So let's get started. I have a lot in here, guys. So this video will probably be a little bit longer. So um, I'll do my best to condense it, but you know me, I kind of go into detail. So the first one I finished up was Peppermint Nilla Wafer and Whipped Cream. This was L3, of course. This was a bunt and it was from either the Mint Sampler or the Christmas Sampler last year. I really can't remember which one I bought. Um, but this was a beautiful, nice, yummy peppermint bakery. And I can kind of compare it a little bit to Peppermint Cookie Land from Rose Girls. If anybody's had that one, I love that. Smooth peppermint and nice bakery. The difference with this one is, is it didn't have, you know, all those good yummy notes that Cookie Land has, of course. But the vanilla wafer accents that peppermint just enough to give it that nice little bakery touch. This is a good one. I would buy that again very well. Next is I finished up a knot bar of Hayden Rowe. This is cherry cola. This is cola and cherry juice. Very simple. I finished this up in my kitchen and it's, it's true to its name. It's nice punch of cherry with that cola note. Not so much fizzy. I didn't get too much fizzy, but you definitely have the properties of a cola, you know, that kind of caramel-esque and a little bit of the the spiciness to it but not spicy but you know like coke and pepsi has that little bit of spiciness to it um i think that's more coke than pepsi if i had to guess next is at the beach by swanky this was one of her roses and i forgot to look up the scent notes on this one some of the ones that don't have the notes on here i did go up and look but i must this one must have slipped me by I feel like this is a Bath and Body Works dupe at the beach because this really smells like at the beach and it's a nice beachy tropical vibe and um, really, really good. And I actually got this in a sample also, so I have a little bit more, but this is a good one. And I don't know if it will be on any of her pre-orders for the rest of the year. I doubt it, but probably next year. Um, but it is to my nose. It is at the beach. Bath and Body Works. So if you have that line around, give it a whiff and it's just like this. So next one is Brita's. I actually have a few souffles of Brita's in here. And in my last video, I, I made the, I made the declaration that Brita's, I don't think Brita's is for me, but I'd like to, I'd like to kind of tweak that a little bit and not all Brita's is for me. I will say because a couple of these here and, and I'm using a few right now. I have a couple of uh, souffles that are still par partially used, but I'll finish them up here in the next week. Um, this first one is stay out of the basement. Now this one is um, aloe and green clover, bamboo and black sea. And this is a very strong, clean, green 
scent and I would buy this again. So this scent is for me. I really like this one. It's green clover and aloe heavy. The bamboo is there for crispness and then the black sea is just there for that little bit of oceanic touch to it, but not too much. I really liked that one. And the second one I finished up of hers is Beware of the Purple Peanut Butter. I know this one is a very popular one. This is peanut butter cookies, grape jelly, and sweet bakery dough. And this one here, I'm getting a lot of the grape jelly and a little bit of the peanut butter. It's not as heavy on the peanut butter as I've had in some other vendors uh, renditions of like a peanut butter sandwich, which is basically what, what this is, even though it's sweet dough versus bread. But basically, you know, those two dominant notes are the peanut butter and the jelly. And this one is good. I liked this one. Um, I would try it again, maybe in another souffle and use it in different, because I, I melted this one exclusively in my kitchen. So I would put it throughout my house and see how it performs there also. I have a sample from Hayden Rowe, the Ready Bits from July. It was Elf or Christmas in July theme. This is Ninny Muggins. This is Zucchini Bread and Whipped Cream. And this is, you know, tried and true, good, yummy, creamy, spicy zucchini bread. I like this one. That addition of the whipped cream, you know, tones that spiciness down a little bit. Really good job on this one. I always love um, zucchini bread blends, no matter who the vendor is. Um, next, I finished up this brittle from Sassy Girl, My Little Pony on the Beach. And I've had this since March of 21. You see the date on there. I went through my Sassy Girl collection several months ago and dated everything. This is Avobath Sweet, excuse me, Avobath Noel Sweet Lavender Cotton Candy Frosting Marshmallow and Beach Night. So this is a beach night blend, of course, and it has Julie's wonderful, awesome beach nights there, but it's got really a lot of sweetness to it. You can get the lemongrass from the Avobath and you can get the lavender the sweet lavender really nicely and then after a while when it melts and it's been about an hour or hour and a half or so that beach nights just really starts to shine uh to my nose the other players the ava bath the lavender the cotton candy are pretty dominant first and then it tones down to that beach nights which i love beach nights this was a good one i would buy that again Next is Destination Wax. I haven't talked a lot about Destination Wax because I, I really haven't been using my collection of, of um, Rebecca's, but I am starting to. <laughs> uh, this is Zucchini Bread Banana. A zucchini bread made with ripe bananas, walnuts, and a bit of brown sugar. Now, this one is very, very good. I love anything... I love anything zucchini bread. I just said that with the, with the Hayden uh, sample. But this has a lot of walnut in it and that banana, which I love banana. I love banana nut bread. I love banana nut zucchini bread. I love all of those things. And this is a good one. I would definitely buy this. This is even loaf worthy if you really like that creaminess of the banana and the zucchini bread. It's not too much of an artificial banana. It's like a ripe, genuine banana. So this one, um, try that one on for size if you like that one. This is a clam from Super Tarts Fair Food. This was actually just in her Fright Night pre-order that closed. Um, did I buy? No. I looked and I looked again and I decided no because I did buy from Dessa's pre-order this morning. And I bought a few things from that Smell Good shop, new to me vendor. And I, um, um, I might buy something from the Hayden Row pre-order. I'm not sure. But I... Um, I had to skip super tarts this time. Anyways, fair food. This is caramel apple, spun sugar, funnel cake, coconut, and biscuits. And my husband likes this one too. Um, this one is, I can still smell it in the, in, the, in the clam. It's very caramel apple heavy with extra spun sugar. You know, to my nose, it's basically cotton candy without the fruity aspect. And I do get this, the little bit of greasy dough from the funnel cake and then an extra bunch of bakery from the biscuits. I don't get too much coconut, but I think that's there just to maybe add a little something. But this is a very good scent. I do like that one. I finished up a chunk of Glitterati. This is from September of last year. Tea and Cakes, 
orange lace cake, glazed donuts, and blueberry. This was very, very, very good. I don't buy a lot with tea and cakes in it because when I first started out in Vendor Wax last year, I, I had a few tea and cakes that just turned me off. So <laughs> I don't gravitate towards tea and cakes. But being that I got this in the mystery box, I thought, you know, maybe that's a sign that I should give it a try. And this one did not let me down. I did, get into, I did not get too much of the orange lace cake, of course. I got the tea and cakes because that's a very that's a very strong oil. It dominates just about everything it's in. But I did get a little bit of the glaze from the donuts and a touch of blueberry, not too much. This is, this is basically tea and cakes. But whoever made this custom up, very good job. This was a nice blend. It wasn't too overpowering, but it was definitely tea and cakes. So good job, Janine, on blending that. I have a few shot cups here. First one is a Destination Wax Cinnamon Raisin Bread. I think this is discontinued, honestly. This was poured in May of last year. I think this is discontinued, but I haven't bought from DW in a while, so I don't really, I don't really know. But I think when I bought this that it was being discontinued. The notes on this were is warm raisin bread swirled with cinnamon right out of the oven. And this is true to that description. It's beautiful, warm raisin bread. It kind of reminded me of like a cinnamon raisin bagel. Uh, you smell that. You can smell the fruitiness of the raisins. You can smell that dough and the cinnamon swirled in there. This was excellent. I, If it's discontinued, I'm sorry. Um, if it's not, give it a try. Okay, Pirate Voyage by Dessa's. I love, 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 love this. I This was in her last pre-order, not the one from today, the previous one. And I bought another uh, breakaway bar, so I felt okay ordering this. I bought this in a ready-to-ship. This is Pirates of the Caribbean inspired. Sea spray, aged wood, cannon smoke, and musty water. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, is this good. This is so nostalgic of indoor water rides and just water rides at amusement park. Yes, where it takes on that particular odor that is water and a little bit of something mixed in there too. This is so good. I love this. I can't wait for that to come back. That is a good one. This is an empty bag, no label, but this was part of a loaf I chopped up from Swanky of fresh, um, excuse me, buttery toast and jam strawberry pound cake, which I got in a D stash. This was delicious. I have melted this all over my house kitchen, master bath, master bedroom, office here where I am, um, my spare bedroom, dressing room, wax room, and the guest bathroom. So the sun is coming around here. So I just saw the, the light <laughs> brightness. <laughs> um, this is north facing house. So the sun sets over here. And this was very, very, very good. Her buttery jam and toast is untouchable in terms of just having that little bit of something that is just so special and different that, I mean, I'm so excited for the pre-order to ship because I did get a buttery toast and jam and zucchini bread concoction of some sort. I can't remember right now. It's been too long, but I'm, this was a very good one. So if you like SPC and the buttery toast and jam, give that one a try if it's available again. Next, I have a, cl um, a clam, a, a shot cup of Dessa's banana nut bread. Notes on this are fresh banana, brown sugar, nuts, and ginger. And this one was sent to me from Jenny in a random act of kindness earlier this year. Um, I actually had this going earlier today, and this is authentic banana nut bread. The only, uh, the only critique I would give this is it's, it doesn't have enough of a bakery note to it. It's basically banana and nut. You get a little bit of the ginger to give that little bit of spiciness and a little bit of sweetness from the brown sugar, but it needs a little bit more of that bread part of it to really be an authentic, yummy banana nut bread in my opinion. But nonetheless, this was very, very good. I liked that one a lot. Next is uh, L3, cherry pie crust, Fruit Loops, and Birthday Cake. This is phenomenal. I really, really like this. And I know cherry's controversial. A lot of people don't like it because of the medicinal um, notes it can take on, and kind of cough syrupy-ish also. This, I'm happy to say, does not have that. The Fruit Loops is such a strong oil. 
the cherry complements that cereal very, very well. And then the birthday cake is so creamy. Uh, I was describing this to a friend. Um, right off the bat, you get the Fruit Loops with a little bit of extra cherry. But then after a few hours of this melting down, that birthday cake just lingers. It's so good. This lasts a long time, probably six to seven hours. It's such a good one. I would buy this again. This was a mini loaf. I would, or a bitty bitty, I should say. Uh, this I would buy again. Great job on that one. Next one is L3. This is Boom Boom Beach. This was one of my scent creations from earlier this year. Um, this is Boom Boom, Coconut Extreme, Driftwood, and Sea Salt. And I melted this exclusively upstairs. And this is basically Boom Boom Cream with a little bit of coconut. I don't get the Driftwood and I don't get the Sea Salt that much, which is okay. Boom Boom Cream is delicious and creamy on its own. And that little bit of Coconut Extreme to bump it up a little bit. This was spectacular. I liked this one. I would request that one again. Next is another L3. This is Jelly Donut, Summer Scoop, and Waffle Cone. I use this exclusively in the kitchen. And to me, this one, this one kind of fell flat a little bit in that I could really only smell Summer Scoop. I didn't get much Waffle Cone that gives that little bit of vanilla, creamy yumminess, and I did not get any Jelly Donut. I'm sorry to say, this was basically Summer Scoops. I like Summer Scoops, but I wanted a little bit of donut and a little bit of waffle cone. So this one is a one and done for me. Speaking of not a one and done, this is zucchini bread blueberry. Oh my stars, is this good. I love this. This is going on my customs list because this is good enough to have a bag, a loaf, a vat worth. It's that good. If you like zucchini bread, oh, I love this. I love this. Um, Zucchini bread and that blueberry, it's perfect. It's not blueberry cobbler. It's not blueberry muffin. It's not artificial blueberry. It's that perfect popping, bursting blueberry. Like you have a, like a blueberry muffin. You know how the berries burst inside once they cook. It's, it's that, it's the berry scent of that. It's so damn good. This is so good. I love this. It lasts for all day long. It's such a good blend. Good for this one. I love that one. When I say good for this one, I mean good, good job on making that one. It's really, really good. Okay, next we have Teddy Bees. I finished up a souffle. Another one that's getting ready to ship her pre-order. This is Surfside Sweet Shop. This was delicious. I love this one. This is birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach night. I love beach night. You all know that if you watch me enough. This is so good. I love the texture of Tiffany's wax. It's so soft. It cuts like a dream and it lasts for a long time. The throw is spectacular in my home. Teddy Bees is right up there with Sassy Girl in being my favorite vendor because it performs so well. And this one, this will be my second time ordering from Teddy Bees once this pre-order ships. And I'm so excited to, to see her pre-order for fall. Might not be good for my wallet, but I'm going to have to reel it in a little bit because I want to get I want to get some things, but I've got to be careful. I don't want to go too overboard. I'm swimming in wax as it is like most of us are. I have wax for many years, but I can't help myself. But as you can see, I'm really trying to melt more and use more in my home. I have an accord now. I found an accord and I have that in my office. So that's, uh, you know, two extra dishes I can put some wax in and I moved my warmer that used to be in my office here downstairs in the kitchen to bump up that open space with an extra warmer. I might do a warmer tour here in the next week or two. Uh, I want to clean uh, and run the vacuum at least first. It has, it's been a little bit since I've run the vacuum. I, I run once a week because I have Poppy. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but Poppy doesn't shed very much, but I haven't run the vacuum for a week. So I just want to be a little bit um, uh, presentable. So this is Excellent. I know why this is one of her best sellers. This is this is ridiculously good. I got another souffle of this in the pre-order. I wasn't going to, but I decided to put one in there because I know I love beach nights and I'll be craving it in the middle of winter. So I grabbed this one. That's such a good one. I used up a little sample of Coffee Bean L3. This is just straight 
black coffee, excuse me, straight black coffee. This is good. I love coffee scents. Y'all know that if you watch me. This is good as a blender. This is good with bakery. It's good with fruit. It's good with Palo Santo. It's good with everything. I like that. I got that in um, either an order or it might, I honestly think it might have been the 50 piece try me sampler I bought uh, late last year. Okay. Cupcakes to Tiffany's. Finish this brittle up. And my honest opinion on Cupcakes to Tiffany's, um, I have said this before, I like Cupcakes and Tiffany's mixed in blends. I don't like it alone. It doesn't stink, but it doesn't, it needs something. It's, I am, I'm always wanting more if I, if I melt Cupcakes to Tiffany's alone. Notes on this are toffee, tiny chocolate, fruity buttercream, and creamy fluffy vanilla cake. And I do get the fruity aspect from this, at least Julie's version. And I'm pretty sure, um, I can't remember if this is the actual oil that went buku crazy up in price and vendors had to either, you know, stop offering it or dupe it. So I don't know if this is the actual oil that, you know, went up in price or if this is Julie's dupe. I don't know that. But regardless... I like this in blends. I have another brittle of this that I bought just because I wanted to have it for blends and I'm just going to keep it for that. I wanted to challenge myself because I'm one of my goals this summer, I'm challenging myself to do new things. Um, for example, my whole entire life I've avoided watching or reading or listening to anything about paranormal activity, UFOs, clairvoyance, um, uh, poltergeist type of stuff, UFOs. So my husband, um, I told him I'm, I'm trying to educate myself at least and um, challenge myself to try to get over that fear. Um, it seems to be a, it seems to be a theme this month because if you watched my my mental health video I did a few weeks ago, you'll know why I'm I'm trying different things. I'm trying to um, I'm trying to be be better. So. If you did watch that video, I'm going to be doing another one here in the next couple of days. I um, I attempted to do it a few weeks ago, but it just wasn't flowing right. So I wanted to wait for the perfect time, and I think I'm going to give it another shot this weekend. So it's coming. It's, it's coming. But anyways, I, um, I wanted to challenge myself to try cupcakes at Tiffany's alone to see if I could if I could handle it alone. And I and I just um, I like it in blends. We'll keep it at that. I finished up another chunk of Glitterati. This is Summer Scoop and County Fair. This is delicious. County Fair is that funnel cake, cotton candy, caramel apples concoction. And Summer Scoop is that strawberry ice cream, berry, vanilla ice cream, strawberry ice cream situation. This was nice. I use this in my kitchen. I do feel that it's faded a little bit strength-wise just because this was poured in January of 21, but nonetheless, this was very, very good. I did, I did enjoy this one. I finished up a Mario Melter of a Sweet Princess Party. I did get this in a D-stash. I did not order this for the pre-order. Uh, last year. This is Strawberry Pound Cake, Cookie Land, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, and Vanilla Ice Cream. And you know, this one is great. It is definitely Cupcakes at Tiffany heavy. I don't get very much Strawberry Pound Cake. I get the cakiness of it, but not the strawberry part of it. And surprisingly enough, I love Cookie Land, but I'm not getting too much Cookie Land from this one. I do get the creaminess from the vanilla ice cream. This was a very popular one. It continues to be to this day. It's not my favorite. I think this is a one and done for me. I wanted a little bit more Strawberry Pound Cake versus Cupcakes at Tiffany's, which makes sense because of what I just talked about here. But um, that's a good blend. Next is, this was fabulous. This is French Baguette from Destination Wax. This is freshly baked and buttered French Baguette. And it is perfect. I love this. I really think this is like Bath and Body Works French Baguette. If anybody has had that one, I, I know it's popular. Um, I'm not sure if this is uh, Rebecca's version of that or if this is the oil, but this is so good. I melted this in my kitchen just because it's bready and such, but it's that buttery crispness. You can get the crustiness from the bread and the warmth of it too. It's very, very good. Love it. Next is a this was a puppy pack of peach waffle cone. 
this was not my favorite. Not because it stunk or anything like that, but it wasn't very strong. It didn't throw very, very far. It didn't throw very long. The peach, I definitely feel that her peach nectar is by far the best peach oil that Jen has at L3. And um, it's, it's very dominant peach nectar. This peach is, is barely there. And the waffle cone, I didn't really pick up much at all. This was kind of a little bit too weak for me. So this one is a one and done for me. Next is swimming pool chlorine. This, excuse me, this notes, I wrote this down. Uh, soft ozone, fresh and clean and pool. And this one, this one it just, it, it serves up to its name. This one is nice. It's, it's aquatic it's pool it's ozone it's very very fresh this is a nice one i do like that i have finished up a clam of yankees floral candy this is spun sugar peach nectar red currant jasmine elderflower honeysuckle and violet and what this reminds me of, of is it reminds me of ghostess from dw which is parma violets and is it Parma Violets and Marshmallow? But this reminds me, it has that violet candy-ish. And you get the um, spun sugar, definitely. I don't get too much peach. I definitely don't get currant. I don't get jasmine. Even though this is floral candy, to me, it's violet with sugar, which sweetens it up quite a bit. That's a good one. I have a clam of Bathing Garden Tunnel of Love. This is red velvet, raspberry cheesecake, and rose pudding. This honestly had no throw for me. I could not smell this. If I put my nose right in the dish, I could smell it. And it was a sweet, fruity raspberry scent. Other than that, this sucked. I don't know if bathing garden wax is for me. I haven't melted a lot of it. I've been letting it cure. Um, but I'm going to get a couple more clams out here and give it a shot again. Um, and if it continues to suck, then I'm going to be done with bathing garden. I've only ordered once from them. I finished up a clam of Walmart wax, tropical pina colada. This is pineapple, cream, coconut, vanilla bean, and cherry. No cherry I don't get, and I definitely don't get much vanilla. This is just basically pineapple, a little bit of coconut, and that cream. Boy, is this, this is smooth. This is creamy. It's very, very good. I wish it was just a touch stronger. It's kind of weakish, but this one served its purpose. Purpose. It's very, very good. like that one. I finished up Woodwick. I've been hoarding this. I, I love this. This is humidor. This is aged tobacco leaves leather and ambered musk and i bought this uh because i love the smell of cigars and i just i love the sweetness of the the leaves that are used in a lot of um higher end cigars even just walking into a cigar store and this reminds me just like that you can get a little bit extra leather that i don't necessarily smell in a tobacco or a excuse me a, a cigar a cigar store but this is very, very good. This lasts a long time. This throws well. This is a pretty quality retail clam. I would buy more of that. Um, coming to the end here. This is Glitterati. This is strawberry pound cake, lemon curd, vanilla ice cream, and waffle cone. This was very, very, very good. This is definitely, definitely lemon curd heavy because you know that one takes over when it's mixed in with anything to my nose and in my opinion. And the waffle cone is there. I can smell a little bit of that yummy waffle cone. I love waffle cone. You get the creaminess from the vanilla ice cream. The strawberry pound cake fell kind of flat in this one, but I understand why this person mixed it with lemon curd because strawberry and lemon goes well together. Uh, this was an excellent one. Um, this was a sample from Swanky of Carnival. Carnival is mango, fresh picked strawberry, satsuma, a touch of peach, and cotton candy. And this one was very, very good. Um, it's it's a little bit too mango-y for me. I like mango, but not mango dominant. And I found that this was a little bit too a little bit too mango for me. I definitely get the peach and the satsuma comes out on warm very, 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 very well. But that mango still is a little bit too much for me. However, I know this is a very, very popular one for Swanky. And if you like tons of fruit, give this one a try. 
Uh, next is uh, Sea Island Grapefruit from Destination Wax. This is compared to the Votivo Classic. Crisp, sweet grapefruit with a hint of white orchid. I'll be honest with you, this kind of smells like B.O. to me. I asked my husband. My husband says it doesn't smell like grapefruit. However, I know this is popular, and I, I, really, I really hate saying that. I don't ever want to say any wax smells like B.O., but I'm just being honest that it did pick up that vibe to me. So what I did was I melted this the same time as I did the Pina Colada, the Walmart wax. So it mixed in the air, and it gave a little bit of um, distraction away from the strength of this citrus. And I would try this again just because what if this was a bad batch? What if it was, I mean, this was poured in April of 21. What if it's went bad? I mean, there's a lot of factors that go into it. So nothing against Rebecca's Wax. I love Destination Wax, but this one is B.O.E. to me. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Boogie Be Gone. This is Vix type. You know, Vix is wonderful. Awesome. I don't, I haven't had a cold knock on wood. I haven't been sick since I had COVID last July, 2021. So this one I melted right next to my bed at night just to kind of clear the air and open up the nostrils a little bit. This is a good one. I like this one. And finally, we have Glitterati Scrappy. I've been trying to use a lot of Glitterati up. Um, I did get my mystery box a few weeks ago, so I, I'm trying to use some of my older stash. This is White Palm mango sorbet and salty sierra and this was a nice one i cut these into six to eight pieces the chunks that come in the mystery and the the um the mystery or the random box and this one is very much it doesn't have too much mango in it it's got excuse me it's got excuse me i don't know where that's coming from but you know <laughs> we all do it um salty sierra just is beautiful gorgeous this is a nice summer scent the white palm gives it a, a little bit of greenery to it and the mango is there but it's nice and fresh mango it's not artificial it's not too heavy so this one is a very good blend also so that is i think we're working on two weeks of empties i think but um i'm going to um yeah I, I'm glad I did this video today because I, I've been, I've been lazy this week. Like I said, I, I, I've been busy and such, but this was my empties this week. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned this, um, coming week. I do have some hauls to film and I want to do a, uh, melting, uh, excuse me, a warming chronicle. I want to do, I have a massive amount of L3 that I need to do my warming chronicle on because, you know, I, I melt L3 all the time. And I also am going to be doing another mental health video. Video, and I'm going to be doing um, my uh, late spring, early summer melt of the month. I haven't done melt of the month since um, April because I have May and June and July. So I have um, a couple of months of uh, melt of the month. My, my favorite melts I've melted that month. So I've got some things to do this week, but hope everyone's having a great weekend and staying cool.